In an area in Japan, there was a quiet schoolboy who loved to be alone named Anoda. Because of his nature, he didn't have a friend. Since he was a kid, Anoda really loved Anaim and was willing to ride his old bicycle tens of kilometers just to go to Akihabara and even as an adult, he used that bicycle to commute to school, even though the school was located on a hill and far from settlements. The day he just started his school life, Onoda decided to join the Anon Club, but sadly, the club had been disbanded because it lacked club members, and to be able to revive and join the club, Onoda must gather at least five members in it. It seemed difficult for him because he didn't even have a friend. The next day, there was a boy named Imezumi, a very talented at racing bicycles who tried to pass a hill road behind his school. He intended to test his skill before enrolling in the bicycle club. Unexpectedly, he saw Onoda easily pedaling uphill using only his old bicycle. Imizumi was shocked and curious about Onoda's abilities. After finding him, Imizumi wanted to challenge Onoda to a bicycle race up the hill behind the school. It happened that there was a woman named Kanzaki. She had observed Onoda several times and realized that he had the ability to become a professional cyclist. Kanzaki herself is a daughter of a bicycle shop owner and because of her father, she loved everything about bicycles. After years of dealing with bicycles and cyclists, she developed a skill to analyze someone's capability in cycling. In order for Onoda to accept the challenge, Kanzaki said that had a betting idea that if Imizumi lost, he had to join the Anon Club together with Onoda. Imizumi confidently agreed to the bet. The race day had arrived, and of course, Kanzaki also saw the match. The track would be a 5km track, including a 2km uphill to school. Imizumi told Onoda to go first and he would catch up with him after 15 minutes. With exuberant enthusiasm, Onoda pedaled his bicycle so fast, even matching the speed of the motorbike, and finally he started to climb uphill to his school. Fifteen minutes later, Imezumi started pedaling his bicycle. He was pedaling his bicycle faster than Onoda before. Not wanting to be left behind, Kanzaki joined him in chasing Onoda using a taxi. In another place, with a happy face, Onoda continued to pedal. He heard the sound of a bicycle speeding from behind and Imezumi was right behind him. He easily managed to overtake Onoda. It was really unlucky that Onoda's seat was broken and he had to stop. Kenzaki, who was taking a taxi, saw Onoda, who suddenly stopped. Not running out of ideas, he tried to fix the bicycle and finally, Onoda was able to continue. Imezumi was still waiting for Onoda. He realized that Onoda had been using one of the rare cycling techniques, the hike and dash climbing, a technique that takes advantage of how fast the cyclist pedals, which means that Onoda's cycling technique was superior to most people. Knowing Onoda was not far behind him, Imizumi became more serious to win the race and did his best to further the gap. Not giving up just like that, Onoda still kept approaching him. But in the end, Imizumi reached the finish line with Onoda right behind him. Realizing the potential that Onoda had, Imizumi wanted to invite him to join the bicycle club. Imizumi actually really wanted a friend rather than a club and other things, but he himself still didn't realize it. A few days later, as usual, Onoda was cycling to Akihabara. He planned to buy his favorite anime, comic, and figure. When he arrived at the parking station, he met with a boy named Naruko. At first, he thought Naruko was plotting something, but he actually liked Onoda's bike. With his innocent face, Onoda was happy to hear such a compliment. The next day, when he left for school, Onoda heard a strange sound from behind. It turned out that it was the sound of the bicycle club at his school, which was practicing. The main members of the club were Kinju, Tadakoro, and Makashima. It was his first time seeing the club and his heart was pounding. What was even more surprising was Naruko turned out to study in the same school as him. Naruko was a cheerful and forthright person. He told Onoda that he would join the cycling club. Thanks to his cycling ability, Onoda could find people that wanted to be his friends that he wanted to continue pedaling his bike with them. It was time to recruit new members of the club. Kenju took the attendance of the members who registered. Despite being late, Naruko could still introduce himself and Onoda followed him to join the club and introduce himself too. The new members would join a selection test. A 60km race would be held with straight and uphill terrain. The test was to determine the main members of the cycling team that will be formed. Everyone rushed to get ready, of course, Onoda and his old bicycle too. The first graders would participate while the seniors would assess and supervise using the car from behind. The whistle was finally blown but Onoda was stopped by Kinju. Kinju said that with his old bicycle, he certainly wouldn't be able to keep up with the others. The timing was perfect as the car carrying the bicycle had arrived. In it, there were Kanzaki and her father. They then gave Onoda a racing bicycle that was according to the standards to take part in this test. Naruko, who turned out to be a sprinter, dominated the straight track while Onoda, who had just got a new bike, started his race. He quickly caught up with the last position and not long after that, one by one, the other first graders managed to get overtaken by him. Like he had unlimited stamina, Onoda didn't slow down at all. 
that made his seniors in the car interested in him. According to Makishima, with a long gap difference between Onoda and Mezumi, it was almost impossible for Onoda to chase him unless he increased his speed. Hearing that, Kinju approached Onoda and gave the information that if he still wanted to catch up with Imazumi and Naruko, he had to increase his speed. Without thinking twice, Onoda agreed and started to pedal even faster. At that moment, the seniors just realized that Onoda was a climber type or an expert in uphill tracks. Imezumi and Naruko, who were in front, felt someone was following them from behind, and it was true that Onoda had caught up with the two of them. <laughs> Onoda was very happy to see them. Didn't want to lose with enthusiasm, Naruko and Imezumi pedaled their bikes faster. After a few turns, Naruko slowed down. As a sprinter, he seemed weak on the uphill track. He then asked Onoda to leave him and show his best. Hearing that, Onoda was determined to exert all of his abilities and wanted to catch up with Imezumi. The match was very intense as Imezumi and Onoda chased after each other on the uphill track. Knowing that Onoda was almost catching up, Imezumi used his skill to pedal faster, but unexpectedly, Onoda also did the same technique. It turned out that while cycling with Naruko before, he was taught this technique by him. This made the battle even more intense. They finally arrive at the last corner before the finish line in the hill. With his determination, Onoda managed to finish first on the uphill track, but there was still a downhill track. Onoda exerted all his strength but was no longer strong enough to continue. In the end, he fell and could not continue the race, but even so, the seniors were very impressed with his struggle. He could show the seniors the meaning of racing, unyielding struggle and rivalry with each other to get better. The next day, Kenju handed over leadership of the first grades to Imezumi, while as usual, Onoda returned to his habit of attending classes. Apart from that, Naruko didn't come to school because he was frustrated with his defeat. That night, the seniors were preparing the main members to take part in the selection for the National Bicycle Racing Championship. They planned to register some first graders based on ranking in the match the other day, but the problem was that the ability of the first graders was still below the championship standard. Therefore, Kinju wanted to give special training to some of them. The first graders were Naruko, Imazumi, and Onoda. Each of them was supervised by seniors according to their abilities. Naruko was trained as a sprinter by Tadakoro, Imizumi was trained by Kinju, and Onoda was trained by Mekishima. After some time, the closeness between them and the seniors began to form. The number of members in one team was six people. Initially, Kinju had decided five people as members with two members from the first grade, namely Imizumi and Naruko, but he saw that Onoda had the ability to make miracles, and therefore made a bet to include him as a sixth member. The national selection test day was about to start. Onoda, who just had his first time participating in an official championship, was feeling nervous. The captain who saw this tried to calm him down. He said that cycling is a team sport. Each member must help each other so he didn't need to be afraid because the other members would help each other if they have problems. Hearing that, all members felt excited and more confident. The match finally started. All the participants pedaled bicycles with their teams. The track that will be traversed is an 80-kilometer long track with 50 kilometers of it as a straight track. The next 25 kilometers is a mountain climb track and the last 5 kilometers is a downhill track and a sprint until the finish. After the start was signaled, all the teams seriously started racing their bikes. The first track was a straight track for sprinters. Therefore, Tadakoro, who was a senior sprinter, started to race his bike fast while Naruko was tasked with pulling or escorting his team members until the straight track ended. As a sprinter, the task was very difficult. The front cyclist had to lunge into the wind with his body so that the other members could save stamina. While other teams had changed positions of the sprinters, their team tasked Naruko to take the job until the straight track was finished. Even though it was hard, Naruko did his job with a burning passion and finally managed to lead his team to the last point of the sprint track. The next track was the uphill track. Kinju assigned Makashima to lead the team while Onoda was assigned to speed up until they arrived at the uphill track. His task was to take Imezumi to the top of the hill so that he was able to sprint to the finish line. Hearing that, Onoda looked nervous but he would hold such a big responsibility no matter what happened. A bad thing finally happened to the team. A few minutes later, the whole team realized that another was left behind. Turned out, an accident happened behind them and caused a lot of cyclists to fall. Another was in the accident. An officer informed him that he was now in the last position in the race. When his team members got this info, inevitably, Makashima had to take Onoda's task and started to pull his team, but it was not as easy as imagined. The other team tried to block him and they couldn't do anything about it. The distance to the last position was far behind and Onoda's position was at the back of the line but he did not give up. He was shouldering the responsibility to help his team. 
Kanzaki, who understood Onoda's intention, was amazed and gave full support to him. With his pace, Onoda finally caught up with the last group and easily overtook them. In another place, his teammates were still surrounded from all directions. Seeing his opportunity, one of the opposing team's racers started to sprint on the uphill track. The team wanted to chase him, but they were blocked, so there was nothing to do. Onoda, who was still behind, was unable to overtake one-by-one one racers in front of him. Makishima felt that Onoda would soon appear behind him. Of course, none of his opponents believed while the other members also believed in Onoda. Meanwhile, Onoda who kept pedaling without slowing down his tempo managed to see the group at the front and finally caught up with his teammates. Kinju then started the next plan. Onoda went forward at high speed and pulled Amizui who was behind him. The opponents let him in and continued to focus on blocking Kinju and Makishima. Quickly, Onoda and Amizumi managed to get close to their opponent in the first position. His opponent realized that the ones trying to overtake him were first graders. The finisher from the opposing team panicked. He didn't want to wait anymore and rushed to start the sprint, even though he was still on an uphill track. Imizumi thought that Onoda had reached his limit, but Onoda was determined to finish his promise to help Imizumi to reach the end of the hill. They pedaled their bike even faster. Finally, Onoda managed to be on par with his opponent racers, and not only that, he managed to finish first on the uphill track, followed by Imizumi and his opponent. Onoda had done his part and now, he entrusted the rest of the race to Imezumi. His opponent didn't want to lose. He still had the energy to catch up with Imezumi. Meanwhile, all the spectators were already at the finish line to see who would win this race. At the last corner, Imezumi and his opponent were still chasing after each other. Imezumi was giving all he had and strong determination that became a boost for him to be number one. Thanks to the efforts of all the team members, Imezumi managed to win the race. Onoda was the one making a miracle to make it all happen. The hard work they had done paid off as they became a team who would represent the area in the national championship.